praise the Lord, everyone. Just wanted to come and give this quick word. Just want to come and give you this word. You are to always stay hungry for the word of God. If you begin to dwindle in sin, God will be patient with you for a little bit. But after a while, he'll leave you. His presence, he'll take his presence away from you. And you will not be hungry for the word of God. You will then begin to question the word because that faith that's alive, that comes by the spirit, will begin to lift off of you. When you, when your body, your physical body gets sick, one of the first things that happen when your physical body gets sick, you lose your appetite. Well, when your spirit man is sick, you're gonna lose the appetite for Jesus and for his word. And at that state, you're in a very bad place. You're in a dangerous place spiritually. You have to stir up the gift and you have to be able to ingest the word of God and pray at a very high rate. This is vital in your spiritual walk with Jesus. Vital. Um, the gift has to be stirred up of the Holy Spirit. Has to be stirred. Just like at the pool of Bethesda when the angel will come and stir up the pool and the first one that jump inside will be healed that water has to be stirred and not only does it have to be stirred once it's stirred it is then your job to earnestly quickly maximize in that spiritual gifting the desire of his word the revelation the things that the Lord uh, revealed to you when that water is stirred you have to do everything possible to stay in that state Everything possible. So understand, y'all, you got to stay close to Jesus. Also, also understand this as well. There are things that we have to do as far as studying the word of God, but also it's important for us to listen to preachers. Because what happens is God uses people to preach the word, to teach the word. And the, what happens is that word, they're able to break that word down by the Holy Spirit and minister that word to you. And it becomes, it, it, it has an effect. Because when you just read the word of God, that's a level of warfare as well as, you know, it relates to your spiritual growth against, you know, the things of the world and the things of sin. You have to have the word. You can't fight off the devil without the word inside of you. It, it won't. It's not going to happen. You have to have the word. The only thing that allows the enemy to back up off of you and these demons to back up off of you is the word of God. The word that the engrafted word, that word that 
gets inside of you. And God uses preachers, teachers to, 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 to get the word and break it down and serve it to those that have the ear to hear. Now, in these times that we're living in, because a, a lot of people in the body of Christ, you know, are worldly and they are, they are not, um, they, they hold on to the, the sinful acts of the flesh. They're not hearing clearly from the spirit of God. So you have to be very picky of who you listen to as it relates to preachers that's preaching the, the gospel, preaching the word. But those with the unction of the Holy Spirit, you'll know when someone is speaking under the unction of the Holy Spirit. You'll know when something is of God and something that is not. You'll know it. And those that you know that are speaking under the unction of the Holy Spirit, when you know that that is the truth of the word of God, hold on to that individual. Keep listening, man. Keep, keep, keep studying your word. Keep studying the word of God in your spare time. Keep reading the word, but also continue to listen to those that you know God has sent to minister that word to your heart. God bless. Peace.